Welcome back to another episode here. Uh, we're gonna be installing that uh, brake controller module into my truck since I bought it without it. Um, it was a lot cheaper to do it, you know, by myself instead of having the, the dealer install it or finding a truck with it already on there, they just charge you a bunch. So we're gonna install it and uh, I'm gonna take you through the process. Okay, so what we got here, I had to order the actual, um, I guess you would call this like, the computer that tells it to lock the brakes up um, I don't know if there's a part that might be the part number in the top right if it'll focus let's see oh, come on focus yeah, I won't focus on those numbers for you I don't know um, basically it's six four four six nine s two four four zero um, I think that is the part number. If not, it might be one of those bigger numbers down there. This thing does not want to focus. Huh. But you also are going to need this bracket. This is what you will screw into the side underneath the dash. Um, and it holds the module. You're going to need the actual switch itself. This is the factory one, so it will look factory in the truck and not just one of those brake controllers that you uh, tap on into the lower uh, part of the steering wheel so and then these were the four screws I think it's actually I only needed three but I bought four for some reason I don't know but there is a part number on that there's a part number on this box but this thing is not focusing I don't know why um, It's not letting me tap the screen to focus either. Basically 6830-9259AC. That's the part number for the actual switch itself. Um, the bracket, I don't see, oh yeah, right here. There you go. And that's for the bracket, so. All right, let's take this under the dash and get started. All right, first, there's two bolts, one right here, one right there. These two gotta get out, and then this whole piece underneath the steering wheel should drop. Pretty sure it looked like an eight millimeter. Ooh, it's actually smaller. Hold on a second. Okay, it's actually seven. Very rarely do I use anything smaller than eight. already loose and there's two okay so the two bolts are out this should just pop off oh there's one Ooh, they're on there pretty tight. So, if you can see up in here. This is what you're going to see. And I'm pretty sure the bracket has to connect right back in there. I know you can't see my finger, but it's like basically right in there. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to get this light here. As you can see, uh, can you see? I don't know. Right there. That bunch of wires right up there 
those are all pre-ran wires to these trucks. So basically all the trucks are wired with all the options. It's just whether or not they plug them in and flash the computer. So I'm gonna have to cut those wires out because there's two in there that are gonna plug into the module right here. So there's no wiring, there's no running any wires or anything like that. You basically just have to cut those out, get them down, plug them in, and then screw that bracket in. So the only crazy thing I'm seeing is from the videos that I've seen, I don't seem to have the holes where those plug into unless it's that far end over there. But I don't know, I'm gonna have to rewatch it real quick and see, see if I can figure out or if the 2021s, it mounts in a different location, I don't know. So just give me a sec here. Okay, so there's gonna be three little clips they give you. You gotta push them into the squares on these holes right here, okay? Let's see if I can get the light in there for you. Right there, and then the other one is right back in there. You're gonna push those three holes in there, okay? You're gonna slide this in here. Basically, that bracket sits on there diagonally like that, okay? It's actually, I gotta scoot it up, but that hook on the top of it will go into that square up top. So I'm gonna slide it up. Basically your holes will line up like that. You're gonna put a screw in and screw it in and that's gonna hold the bracket. All right guys, so if you look under here now. I got that screw in. I got that one in. And I got that one way up top there on that tab. Now the best way I found to do this is I got a like 12 inch extension and I got a seven millimeter on the end of my impact gun. I basically started them all, I started one by hand and I came in with the gun, um, gave it a couple taps to seat it, put the rest of them in, continued, and then once they were all in, you know, and I knew it was gonna go in, I came back and hit it with the gun. If you try to use a screwdriver or something, you just, there's not a lot of room in here. So I just did a long extension impact gun Hit it, it's tight, it don't move now or rattle. It ain't going anywhere. So if you got a nice impact or if you even got some of those mini impacts, I know they make like sub uh sub compact impacts from like rigid and DeWalt and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um probably even better. But yeah, the top one is gonna be tough. I started it by fingers, like I said, and then I just gently put the swivel socket on with the seven millimeter. Hit it a couple times to so where it twisted and then I sent it home. So this is probably the hardest part, but as long as you put those little pins in there that I showed you, because a lot of the other videos don't show you what, what those pins actually do. They don't look like they really do anything. You push them in the squares and then you just tighten them up. And this part's actually not that bad. So let's move on to the, oh, actually I'll show you. So now this will slide up in here. So, oh, I gotta set this down. Everything's a pain in the butt. Nothing's easy. That's why the dealer charges you. I don't have these in. Oh, those are all in. Just being a pain. Why would the clip actually snap in? There it goes. Okay. So that slides in. Now your brake controller's there. There's the two wires that we cut out. You got an eight pin and a four pin. Just gonna connect those. So 
see right here we have a four pin. So it's gonna go to this one. Let's see if I can get a good. Man, there's just no room for a good light in here. right in there oh i'm bleeding of course click get that so then you got the eight pin same thing goes right next to it push in until you hear the click this one goes in pretty far That one actually didn't click, but it's in. Oh, nope, there it goes. It clicked right there. Okay. All right. Guys, and that's it. Our part's done. Now we just got to take apart the middle console. One more thing I want to show you when you're putting the plastic back on. The bolts that come with it on the left is fill up. The ones that come off of your dash are flathead. Well, they're not even flathead. They're just 7 millimeter. So don't put your 7 millimeter bolts in the bracket like I did and I just had to go back in and take it out so just remember that all right now there's a little rubber cover and take that out two Phillips up here right there and put them in my cup holder so I don't lose them this time supposedly this just comes out too man that's sketchy that is sketchy but it's off you just feel like you're gonna break it man so now there's a couple wires back here you gotta get off So you don't got to remove all these. Light gear. So I removed those two up top and then two down there. And that freed it all up. Now, looks like the cable's right here. There's this cable right here is buried, okay? Pretty sure this is the one you untie, which is then gonna plug into down here. So we're gonna unclip this one too. Cause we gotta get this whole assembly out. And it looks like there's a tab there, tab there, and a couple tabs there and that pops out. Let's see if I can do this. Maybe it's these tabs. Whew. Okay guys, I got it out. So if you have a 2021, or maybe I just miss other people's videos, but there's a bolt right here and a bolt right there. Okay, they're little torque spits. They kind of look like these ones right there. That's actually all that held this in. As soon as I took those out, this popped right out. So, I mean, there's, there was those two clips on the back, but you basically just slid um, these pins or these little clips right here. Can't really see them. Right, where's my finger? Right there, those ones. 
you just slip those out and this thing popped out so let's go take this over to the bench and see what i gotta do here okay it looks like there's a little pin right here it's this one and one on right here People doing 100 miles an hour down the dirt road would think it's sweet. I hope there might be some more back here. Maybe you have to go in the reverse way for these ones too. All right, I got it off. Um, these two tabs back here, you pry basically right here. You have to be careful. Do not break these off because that's what's going to hold the new one. But you, basically, you have to get under there and pull. These ones are in there good. The two front tabs on this, these ones are right... Oh, where they go? Got to see. Okay, these, these two up here... Um, they don't even do anything. So it was just the two tabs in the back that go back here. Those are the only tabs you have to worry about. Kind of tricky looking, but basically this is just going to plug into here. So just push in, click, boom. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, look what I did. Okay, look at that still in there. This has got a slide in. Right here, there's a little tab. I don't know if you can see that, but that tab right there has to slide into this groove. Almost screwed up. A <laughs> okay, I'm going to push it in. Click, click. Click. There it is, guys. Easy peasy. Brake controller. All right, let's go reverse the process and put it back in. All right, so here we go. This slides back in through now like this. Okay, go down here. I grab these little Allen bolts that I, that I showed you before. These just go right up here in these top corners right here. Actually gonna always start them by hand, don't force them in there. started as you heard that whole unit clicked in so make sure it clicks i was trying to thread it and it wasn't clicked in on the other side yet whoa let's not do that get this bolt out of here can't do that i ain't gonna have anything to replace that got it let's go right there Okay, that one started. I do not recommend using a gun, but mine has three powers. I can turn it down real low and drive it home. That's good. It's just plastic it's screwing into. Okay, that's in now. 
the cord I need should be tied up in here. I am pretty certain I can feel one. Actually, you know what? That feels too small. This one feels like it right here. So there's actually a couple cords in there. So I'm going to grab a pair of snips. I'm going to open this up. Try not to cut any wires because I know all this was for nothing. Let's see what we got here. That's it, it's red. Okay, that's gonna go right in here. Everything matches up, so we'll go ahead and plug that in now so I don't forget. Click, start putting these back together. Don't forget that this is your park assist one. It's also red, so that's how you know. Click, and you basically just gotta remember where these ones from. They're color coded, so you can't really screw it up. Yellow, white, red. And that's how I took it apart. Here's yellow, red, and then here's white. I'm gonna have to tilt this up so you're not gonna be able to see me connect it because those wires are pretty short. So give it a second. All right, guys, you basically just connect all those wires, push the dash back. There's gonna be two screws that go back up there. And there you go. You got yourself a factory. Uh, uh, trailer emergency brake. So, you know, if you go to the dealership, you know, you're going to get charged a couple hundred dollars just for the kit. And you're going to get charged a couple hundred dollars uh, to be installed from what it looked like online. So, I mean, if you're a little bit handy, if you got a little bit of patience, I mean, this I won't lie. This probably took me an hour and a half total of install time. And so it, it's very delicate, some of the spots, tight spots. But if you just work it slow, anybody can do this. This all, this entire dash is, is clips. So, you know, it's not like my 96 over here where everything is screws and screws are hidden underneath the dash and it's just stupid. This is all clips, man. So just take your time, pay attention, and you can do this. Save yourself hundreds of dollars. You will have to take this in and have it flash because that the, the software on this will not tell this that it is working. So I still have to go in the dealer and I'm sure they'll, they'll plug me for, you know, 50 bucks or so to scan the truck. But other than that, that's it. That's how you install a trailer brake, uh, lockup, emergency, whatever you call it. So in a 2021 Ram. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, I know it was a little rough, but if you could like and subscribe, helps the channel. Uh, I'm going to have a lift kit coming in here. I'm still waiting on my hood. They sent me some wrong parts. So going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing here. So take it easy, guys.